And then again, I'd also like to apologize because my back will be facing those in the back wall. No offense to you, it's just the nature of the presentation. Okay? So, here we go. If I can direct your attention towards the front of the room here, this is a beautiful 2012 8000 series LED on behalf of Samsung Electronics. Hi TV. I just turned on the television music, just my voice. Wow. So smart. Okay. I love it. Um, I would like to welcome you on behalf of Samsung and CES to visit the Smart Interaction Room. This particular portion of the booth is the most intuitive and innovative uh, smart TV enhancement that we will be coming out with in 2012. Okay, so we thank you for taking your time out to do this. It's almost like an amusement park going through the line and finally getting your ride. I love it. Um, we're going to talk about three different features. The first being voice control, the second being face recognition, and the third being motion control. Um, unfortunately, I had to, they had asked me to cut out the face recognition because it's my favorite portion and I was taking too long. Uh. So, I am going to talk about it because I still believe that it deserves that. Um, but, once the foot traffic lessens, hopefully by Friday, we'll be able to actually showcase that feature again. I think okay? they said the last show of the day you could do it. Yeah, that line is pretty short <laughs> We'll out there. see, we'll see. Okay, so, starting with voice control, I'm going to give commands to the television. After that, we'll discuss how that works. And then thereafter, I will have a volunteer, brave soldier, come up to the center of the room. We'll use a prompter that will that will inform you exactly what to say to the TV so you don't feel you know scared in that way. Um, and it really helps me because this is my husband for the next four days. Oh so God. I'm sure he's tired of listening to me telling him what to do all the time. So here we go. Hi, TV. Channel up. Channel up. Volume up. Volume down. Hi TV. Great, so you will notice that I used trigger words to be able to activate and deactivate the voice control command options on the television. So when that control bar comes up, or that command bar rather, it will let you know exactly what you can do. And then to deactivate that again, then you would just say those trigger words, okay? So again, the trigger words are, do we feel good about that? Yes. <laughs> Great, okay, so if I could get a brave volunteer to just come right front and center. <laughs> Great, thank you. Okay, so you're going to say the commands that are on the prompter, but just leave a little bit of space in between the commands. Okay. okay. Hi, TV. Ooh, Channel up. Channel down. Mute on. Source. our product have these beautiful set-top boxes or cable boxes okay so with these cable boxes come hundreds or even thousands of channels so if we're going from channel 1037 to you know channel 2000 we're not going to say channel up however many times that is okay we don't want you to have to do that either we want to make it as easy as possible for you so in our hi TV hi TV series televisions as well as our 8000 series TVs this beautiful device will be included in the box this is a wireless IR blaster okay 
Okay. What this does is it connects via Bluetooth to your set-top box and, and sends IR signals to the set-top box to let you change the channel to whatever channel it may be that you would like to select. And I'll show you how that works. <coughs> Hi TV. Hi TV. Channel number. Channel 25. Hi TV. All right, I'm sorry. I didn't know this was standard definition, so I hope that doesn't hurt your eyes. No, I'm just kidding. That's a techie joke. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so. Um, pretty cool. So now moving into right into face recognition, again, my favorite. Um, if you notice, in the top center portion of the television, you will see a camera. That is a built-in camera with their 7500 and 8000 series TVs. That camera is a face, facial recognition camera as well as a Skype application camera. So if you like to do web conferencing, it's already built in, okay? There is a lever on the back of the TV so that you can adjust horizontally or vertically the angle. So for example, let's say you're laying in bed, you know, and you want to be able to do Skype, you can, add, you can adjust that, or whatever living condition you're in, okay? There is a 30 degree radius, plus or minus 15 degrees on each side. Um, so what I did was, this morning before the convention started, I went into Smart Hub, I created a user ID, and downloaded my favorite applications, okay? When the first group came in, went to the back, went into Smart Hub, and I wanted to log in. So I activated face recognition. And for those people that were back there with me, it can detect up to five faces within 30 degrees. It took a picture of us, okay? And then each of our individual pictures popped up. Not only did it do that, but it informed us if we were a user already or if we still needed to sign up. Wow. It is wow. so cool, I wow. can't even tell you, okay? It's so smart. So that's just a little bit of the facial recognition. So moving into the motion control, which is probably the most popular this year at CES 2012, you are now able to control your television with your hands without the use of any external devices. Love it, i.e. your remote control, okay? Is there going to be a remote control that comes with this TV? Absolutely, okay? But if you choose to do motion control, you can do so, all right? so. I am going to use my voice activation to just get into Smart Hub, and then I will use my gesture motion control to then get into the web browser, okay? Hi, TV. Smart Hub. Hi, TV. So if you see, there was an information bar that popped up that let us know we can use our hands. Okay, so I'm just gonna activate this. So now my hand is the cursor. Here we are. Wow. Here's the web browser. Wow. To select this or click on this, I'm going to close my hand and open it back up. Mm, and now we're nice. going directly into the web browser. Is that smart? Yes. Yeah. Okay, smart. that's pretty smart. All right. So we said we need to take this to the next level. We need to make this even smarter. Okay. So in order to do that, <clears throat> we said optimal viewing distance with our consumers is not two feet from the television. It's four to 12 feet. So if they're sitting 12 feet back, how on earth are they going to access a page like this with all of these little tiny links and select the one that they want with their hand, okay? There's just no way. So we've created what we've called a virtual cursor, which allows you to get within the radius of the link that you would like to select. An extender will point out, letting you know exactly which link you're at, and then you can go from there and select that, okay? So I'm gonna show you how that works. So see this how this extender works? Okay. So it's extending oh, from side to side. And then I'm just going to select that. That's the link that I want to go to. Okay. Wow. Okay, boom. And then we're automatically launching into that link. Okay. Wow. It's so smart. Okay, so we've gone over three of our most recent features or additions to smart interaction, which is voice control, face recognition, and then motion control. So I'm gonna have my volunteer once again be so kind as to conclude the presentation by turning the TV off using voice control. Hi TV. TV power off. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. We hope that you're as excited as we are to introduce this to the market. Uh, we're two months away from launch. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Thank you.